A British man who was lucky to survive after coming under Russian bombardment while fighting for the Ukrainian army has now gone back to the conflict. Sharif Amin spent months at a military hospital in Odessa before then being evacuated to the UK for surgery. Since then, he's been recovering and training for his return and Emma Vardy caught up with him in Bristol as he prepared for combat. Delta, cover and fire, Charlie, move! A soldier may leave the war, they say, but the war never leaves a soldier. What we're going to do is go through the drills of... When Sharif was evacuated from Ukraine, he felt he had unfinished business. OK, so we're just going to be covering fire, bounding back. But the injuries that left him close to death would take months of recovery. I didn't know whether I'd ever be able to operate uh, as a soldier or a humanitarian again, or if I'd ever be able to make it back to Ukraine and fulfil the promises. Last October, Sharif suffered horrific injuries when his unit came under fire from Russian tanks. OK, off for another operation. Um, wish me luck. After undergoing surgeries to save his arm and leg in a military hospital in Odessa, we met up as he was being flown back to the UK. Last time I saw you, you were not walking or anything like this. You look completely different. Well, it's that stubbornness that gets me going. And he's been training here in Gloucester, getting ready to return. So this part of my arm is now uh, filled in with this part of my left leg. Wow. OK. They've sewn it up and they've put most of the wrist back together. Uh, head physiotherapy on, on the right leg, skin grafts taken from this side. Uh, this arm was cut open from the shoulder to the elbow. From the time um, I had surgery in Ukraine to the time I got to UK, they took out 19 different pieces of metal. And I've even fabricated a thumb so I can handle my weapon system and, and, and my pint. So the thumb's gone? Oh, the thumb's gone. I've got two gloves, one for a pint and one for a weapon. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but all joking aside, despite the physical challenges, he's now rejoining the Ukrainian army... Keep your eyes peeled, guys. ..and says this time he'll be undertaking assignments evacuating others. We're going in to the hot zones behind enemy lines to evacuate civilians and soldiers that have been injured like I was. It sounds like that could be some pretty risky missions, though. Well, it's war, and Ukraine is going through, uh, going through hell at the moment, and I just think they deserve a little bit more help. It was simple for me. It was, I could sit in the army in Denmark and do nothing or go and do something. John and Nicky, a former soldier who left the Danish military, are going with him. No one has ever seen anything like it, I think. It's different from Afghan, Iraq and Syria, and... It's actually an army you're fighting against, not just terrorists or Taliban and insurgents. I've seen just horrific stuff. It shouldn't be happening. It just shouldn't be. But despite Ukraine's need, they're well aware that going out there goes against the advice of British officials. On the one hand, a lot of people admire what you're doing, but the authorities in the UK would much rather you don't do this. No, but I know how many lives I've saved, plus or minus. So does he, so does he, and that's important. Do you get a lot of people asking? Oh, yeah. Saying they want to go then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting messages weekly of ex-soldiers. People might look at you and go, this looks like an adventure, I want some of that. Mm. What do you say to them? All they've got to do is look at the pictures of me injured, and I don't, that doesn't look exciting at all. Mm. I think, if anything, it's put a lot of people off. You know, who wants to be blown up and shot? No one wants to be blown up and shot. They can see the pain I'm in. And back to a safe area. Also going with them is Ewan. A volunteer trained in conflict first aid who helped with Sharif's evacuation. Now he's joining the team as an armed medic. You're a medic, these guys are ex-soldiers. What's the motivation for you to do this? I just know that I'm capable of doing it. It's about keeping them alive so they can keep doing the jobs that they do. I've seen so much out there that I try not to think too hard on what I might go into. One person under no illusions is Rob, who's ex-SAS and now trains people to work in conflict zones around the world. Uh, yeah, there's guys out there making the difference, positively, and there's also guys going into the environment that are making a negative impact as well. The Walter Mitty types that go out there, failed in the military, didn't get through basic training, did a bit of airsofting, and all of a sudden they want to go out into a hostile environment, it's not the same. In this case, these guys are very competent and they've done a, an awful lot of training prior to uh, departing. I don't know exactly how many British volunteers are in Ukraine, 
that commanders out there say there are hundreds, if not a few thousand, who've joined up since the invasion. Do you tell anyone not to go? Um, I've told quite a few people not to go because it's not the movies. And when you get over there, it's a lot more bloody and gory than you could possibly imagine. OK, good drills. Happy days. Is there people do saying to you, that. don't do this? Oh, God, Just yes. stay here. Everybody. You've survived. Everybody. You might not get so lucky next time. So be it. That's the decision I've made. And at the end of the day, um, I don't want to die but I'd rather go out and do something and save some lives and live, live the life I want to live. And for me, this is rewarding and um, it's just something I love to do and that feeling of helping someone. It's just about having a sense of purpose. It is, sense of purpose and having good people around you. So, guys, finally back in Ukraine after several months of rehabilitation. This week, he travelled back to the war zone, his recovery spurred on by a desire to return. Round two, here we go. Time to get back to my unit. For Sharif and his team, they believe it's worth the risk. So, Slavo Crane. Emma Vardy, BBC Slavo. News.